Hey guys, Drop It here. In this video, I will show you how to get OBS Virtual Camera set up so that you can play Spell Table online with Moxfield digitally. So let's get right into it. First, we need to download OBS program and install the plugin Virtual Camera. Both links will be in the description down below. After downloading, we'll go ahead and install the softwares. I myself has already installed both of them, so I won't be doing that again. And after complete installation, we will open up OBS to get everything set up correctly. It should look empty, like this for both you and me. If we start it up for the first time, what we're going to do is to head up here in the tools section and around the bottom we should see virtual camera. Now if you don't see the virtual camera, it means that you need to restart your computer. So close OBS and go ahead and restart your PC and come back here. Welcome back, now click on it back again to open up the virtual camera and we will see target camera. Make it OBS camera. Down here in buffered frames, it means how many frames per second we want to have on your camera. It caps at 30 and I like 30 FPS for a smoother look. Start and stop means you can enable or disable the virtual OBS camera. And when the camera is on, it will display everything that shows on the OBS screen as a camera output. On the application, you use the camera as a source. Meaning this whole black screen here will be your camera output when you put things onto here. We will start by adding a source, choose window, capture, and for the window we will capture, it will be our browser where we have Moxfield. It should find out automatically, but if it doesn't, you can choose a specific window and pick the right one. I will head back to Mox Moxfield and playtest a deck to open up the game area so you can see how it looks like. Now you can see the Moxfield game on OBS and this will be seen as your webcam when you're in spell table. Let's open up spell table and show you how it looks. When you open up uh, a game in spell table, choose the cogwheel settings and use the correct camera source being OBS webcam. Also make sure that your Moxfield window is separate to your spell table window so that OBS will only capture that window. If OBS loses the correct window, you can simply go back in and choose the correct one like this. And on spell table, you can now see the board and you're almost ready to play. Firstly, we don't want to show our hands, so to correct that, we'll be resizing the window in OBS. You can use the arrow keys to fine tune the position. And now your opponents will only see your battlefield and not your hand, which is what we want. Now you can get more fancy with this and I'll show you how my setup looks like and how I did so. First, we can remove the boring grey background if we want to by applying a chroma key, which is essentially a green screen effect that will remove a specific color from the image. Right click the source, choose filter, chroma key and we select the custom color and pick the background color on the screen and hit OK. Now we have to tweak the first three settings, they control on how they control how much will be removed and if it's going to spill over to other similar colors. For this scenario, we can just pull all the settings way back to the left, bring our cars back and removing the background. Now we can use and add a playmat or any background in this case. You can use any picture you want. I'll use a Kamigawa splash art for this example. So you add a source and you choose image and then you can find the specific one on your computer. Now the sources are stacked as layers and to bring back our card to the front we will drag our image layer down to the bottom so it's behind the background. And now you can see it on spell table. Spell table. If you want to you can also add more information as your library and graveyard for others to see. And how I did this was simply duplicating the original source by copying pasting, Control c Control v and then cropping the image so I just had the things that I wanted in the frame. And to crop it, hold ALT on your keyboard and then drag the sides. Then you can also, then you can resize the image and put it wherever you like. Now on spell table, the players can see your graveyard and library. And that is everything you need to do to play on spell table digitally. If this helped you guys, please show your support by subscribing, giving the video a thumbs up, share it to your friends so that you all can start playing together online and with others on Discord. Comment your deck or share your deck list you'll be playing, I'm curious to know. And with that, I hope you have good games.